Welcome, direct from the Rob Lincoln Unpresidential Library. This is Quest for a Thousand Songs, episode 38, Redo. Occasionally I will redo an episode. I wanted to get better camera angles. My head was getting chopped off too much. And we'll see if the angles are better. Every week I do two brand new songs that I've written. And they come from suggestions from listeners. You suggest an album or artist to inspire me, or a subject matter to write about. I also take suggestions for covers, generally like being told an artist or an album. But this particular episode, somebody suggested a song, and it was a song I was able to do that sounded right. So you'll hear that as well. So stay tuned. I'll be back in. I'll be back immediately. Well, this first song was a suggestion that I listened to, The Story, a duo from the 90s. I had seen them live and was suggested by local singer-songwriter Christine Winchester from the Philadelphia area. Christine has a great voice, if you haven't heard her. And she suggested, she said a friend of hers suggested, a friend named Rich, that I listened to that band, that duo. And Jonathan Brooke is the main writer in that duo that I believe broke up a number of years ago, and I've seen her solo since. She writes lots of complex songs, uh, sometimes in alternate tunings. This isn't a normal tuning, but it's somewhat complex, somewhat difficult for me to play. And she likes dissonances. You might hear some in this one. It's from a female perspective. It's called Carnivore. Just an 
Brand new song, Carnivore. Soon you'll hear another brand new song. That's the way it works here. Two brand new songs each week, and then a cover that I have to learn for the first time. So stay tuned. I'll be back in a split second. Well, this next song was a suggestion by Art Cohen that I listened to Matthew Sweet's album, Altered Beast. Well, I started listening to it, and I started writing two songs. One of them I finished for this week, the other one hopefully for next week. The other one I think sounds more like an Matthew Sweet than this one. And like the other song, it is not autobiographical, but it's called Cry Uncle. can't really get those kind of hokey uh, drum machines off at the right timing. I don't have a foot pedal. But that was Cry Uncle. A little bit different than the last song. Two brand new songs for you this week, as every week. And now we end with a cover. So we always end with a cover. I am not known as a cover artist, but I'm learning a lot of new songs. A lot of new songs as a result of this series. 
There are a lot of people who can do this song better than me. This is a well-known song, probably the best-known song of the series, if you don't count our two, quote, obscure Beatles songs we've done so far. And uh, it was suggested by Brennan Shines. Normally, I don't particularly like suggestions of a specific song. I'd rather have an artist or album because I could then find the song that's right for me. But it turns out this song can work for me, except for the fact that I can't sing an octave higher, which is the way Neil Young does it in the chorus. Uh, this is Neil Young's old man, and thank you, Brennan Shines, someone I don't know who suggested this, and love to have strangers make suggestions as well as people that follow me here uh, know me. Thank you. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> was old man song i just learned and a great one at that certainly not exactly like neil maybe a slight change here or there in the uh, arrangement but about as close as i'm going to get it without a lot of practice so thank you for listening hope you liked the cover hope you liked one or more of the originals hope you come back next week if you liked anything any of the three songs please like it please subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for listening on our quest for a thousand songs. <laughs>